Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today we're going to go down 2 in 17x. That's in the green. It's not 2 in 3 3. It's 2 in 17x in the green. The yellow is 2 in 3 3. That's rated as easy. That's also called the Pilot Rock Truck Trail. 2 in 17x, where that motorcycle just went up, is where we're going. And this is rated as difficult. Do not make the mistake that we did on this day, which was thinking we were going up to N33 to the right. No, we ended up going up by mistake to N17X, where you see this uh, purpose-built off-road vehicle. I'm not sure what you call those things. What are they, razors? Uh, this, it's, this is rated as, as difficult um, by both the internet and the, and the trail signs, which... Um, <laughs> weren't there but anyway just try not to get them mixed up like we did uh, or you might be in for a surprise but we're gonna do it nonetheless and uh, we're gonna do it not knowing really what we're getting into in, in other words expecting an easy trail and ending up with a difficult trail and it's gonna earn that rating pretty darn soon starts off right here with the gatekeeper motorcycle makes it looks easy shoots right up there uh, but uh, for vehicles, it's a bit harder. All right, again, if you want to go to Pilot Rock Truck Trail, go off to the right down that smooth-looking dirt road. If you uh, if you want uh, something different, then you're definitely going to want to go down um, the uh, truck trail here. So keep that in mind. So in case, again, I haven't made, I said this enough, um, right is easy. And the way we're going is difficult. They're two different trails. Uh, a lot of people familiar with this area are, are familiar with that. This used to be the old Pilot Rock truck trail. Uh, now it is not. It's got a totally new name. Um, and that is 2N17X. And... The pilot truck trail, pilot rock truck trail is two in three three. So there we go up the first hill climb. Uh, that's kind of the less difficult sign uh, side. There's a gatekeeper made out of rocks to the right there uh, earlier. Um, that's more difficult if you want to take that route. But anyway, this is going to be a series of hill climbs and. Um, look at this lake. I mean, look at the views. Breathtaking. That's uh, Lake Silverwood. Uh, or I may, believe it might be called Silverwood Lake. And um, it's just absolutely breathtaking. You're going to go from desert to mountains on this trail. And that's the really, really cool part about this. And you get to start off at a beautiful lake. And um, this... 2N17X is going to be a series of hill climbs, and the camera may not do it just. In fact, it won't. <laughs> uh, we've tried our best to really showcase that these are hill climbs and not flat dirt roads. This is uh, very steep up in the air. Uh, not to e extremities, but definitely on the difficult side. The camera is not going to show the amount of... Um, speed that's needed to get up these hills, uh, maintaining momentum, and uh, really choosing where you place your tires because there's ruts, there's rocks, and there's soft spots, and uh, plenty of places to high center if you're not careful. So up we go with the beautiful view in the background, oblivious. <laughs> Oblivious that we're not on 2N33, and instead we are on the much more difficult 2N17X. So uh, we're driving this with the mindset that we are doing a uh, super duper easy bunny trail, uh, but we're not. But uh, what do they say? Ignorance is bliss, but the truth will set you free. So up we go. So this is really cool. 
if you love hill climbs this is definitely going to be your cup of tea because uh, it's almost like a series of steps so you're going to be going just like from the first floor to the hundredth floor you're going to go up and then level off then up again and level off and then up again and you're uh, going to keep doing this about 10 or 11 times until you get to the most extreme one that's at the end here we are going down and uh, the camera's not going to do it justice but that's that's pretty steep and then you're going to level off and you're going to have to go right back up again we're going from the Mojave Desert to the San Bernardino Mountains uh, I believe the elevation is going to be somewhere in the seven or eight thousand foot range from around sea level and in order to do that um, whoever made this road is you know basically it's a staircase going up into the mountains from the desert so uh, we're trying to highlight the surfaces of the road so you can make uh, the decision on your own whether you think this trail would be something that you're interested in. You're going to get gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous views. So whether you choose the easy 2N33 Pilot Rock Truck Trail or this more difficult 2N17X, you're going to get absolutely uh, spectacular views. So it's just a matter of choosing your difficulty. Now I will add, you do have, even though this 2N17X that we're taking is rated as as difficult, the uh, you do have if, options. In other words, Within, within the difficulty here, you can see that you can choose a few different lines or paths. So, um, it's not necessarily, um, you know, a, a, a <laughs> it's not necessarily a, a, a one path type of trail. So, within the difficulty rating, you can go down towards the moderate side or you could go up towards the more difficult side depending on what you're in the mood for what your experience level is etc when we do get to the last hill climb here you get two choices and that is a hard and hard so <laughs> uh, stay tuned for that to see what happens now here he'll, here's this view look at this I mean, look, uh, that's the closest you can get to how, how high it is. That peak of the mountain there. And it's so tall that uh, I had to get out and could not see anything but blue sky. Uh, but I wanted to peek ahead because you could not see forward. Uh, just to make sure that we were still uh, pointed on the road there. So take your time on this trail. Again, the internet rates it as difficult, and the trail signs rate it as difficult. So take your time, and um, you know, definitely get out and walk if you are unsure of anything. We got out and walked multiple times just to be on the safe side. So now we're going down here, and. You're going to level off for just a little bit, and you're going to go up again. This particular trail, 2N17X, follows the uh, ridge line. So it's on the ridge of these mountains, which is kind of neat. I don't know anything about uh, road making, topography, or um, trail making, but um, I think that's neat how it... It follows the ridge. You know, I, I know some mountain trails have, you know, make kind of shelf roads. And you kind of seem to be spiraling up the mountain a little bit at a time. And you're, you're on the shelf road. But this just, you know, kind of rides this ridge. So you're, you're right on the spine of this mountain as you're going up. Um, 
which leads to those spectacular views because you're always kind of at the highest point on this trail at any given location so in other words you're gonna always look when you look left you're looking down you look right you're looking down and when you look behind you looking down here's some other people um, up here all sorts of vehicles Jeeps ATVs uh, these purpose-built off-road vehicles And if you uh, if you want, you can uh, <laughs> you can try to keep track of how many hill climbs there are. I believe we counted about ten or eleven. And this was kind of hard to to figure out by watching the internet because. Um, you know, a lot of the videos online made it seem like there's just a few hill climbs or a few offshoots, but uh, there truly are uh, lots and lots of hill climbs. This is hill climb after hill climb. You can see it getting rockier here in this section. And it'll continue to get rocky as we move forward a little bit. Now the vehicle being used in this video for reference is a 2021 Lexus GX460. That is purely for reference. Take whatever vehicle you want. Um, but please, as always, watch this video. Check out these surfaces, road surfaces, to see if this is a, uh, the type of trail you want to take. So as you can see, oh, there's the lake to the right, and there's, there's a few options. So if you're if you're bored of one option, you can try another. There's another Jeep up here. And more hill climbs in the distance. So try to take the, uh, the view here um, <laughs> try your best to imagine this being steep the camera really does flatten this out but you will be going down and up ahead you see we have some uh, options you can go to the left to right look out for those wooden stakes in the ground and uh, take your time and you'll you'll be just fine okay so Wow, that was fun. <laughs> so this trail, uh, of course, is known for its hill climbs and um, there were several options uh, along this, these offshoots. And again, remember these are all offshoots, so you don't have to take any of them. The main trail is to the passenger side. These are literally offshoots that all connects back up. At least I'm pretty sure that's how it works. <laughs> Yeah, I'm 90% sure it's, you don't have to take this, but uh, most of these you get two or three choices to do easy, moderate, difficult. So there's something for everybody. If you find something too easy or not challenging enough, uh, you could try the other way, but it's uh, definitely a rutted hill climb uh, without a doubt. So um, here's another one. This is now, I think, either the fourth or fifth hill climb. Um, again, this is this may not show up on camera, but th these are hill climbs, so you're gonna have to give it some speed as you're going up this stuff. Um, 
But yeah, these these are definitely fun. I mean, this is definitely a challenge. Um, I believe it's living up to its moderate to difficult ranking. And again, it's all depending on which route you take. But so far, wow, this is fun and it's a beautiful day out, beautiful scenery. You got lake on one side, desert on the other. Absolutely gorgeous. Looks like we got another uh, hill climb coming up. All right, so continuing on, another hill climb. It's gonna be the theme here. But boy, is it fun. Um, the, the, the thing that doesn't show up on the, on the camera is how steep it is. So it's not just a rutted road, it's a rutted road going up and you, you truly do have to keep your speed going, as you see here. You know, you you you, can't, you you really can't put it into you know f first gear and say four low and kind of crawl your way up. I guess you could, but uh, you know you definitely want to keep your momentum uh, for most vehicles. So it, it brings that challenge with it that you you know you got to keep keep your wheels moving. Alright, I'm losing track, but I think that was like the fifth hill climb, so tons of fun. Geographically speaking, or topographically speaking, uh, we're following the... Ooh, that's pretty blind. Um, ooh, that's blind. Wow. Don't want to do my classic downhill high center, so I'm looking ahead. <laughs> um, let's lower the gear too. Um, anyway, I think that was a fourth hill climb, and now you can see we're getting into this forest. Look at these pine trees. Wow. And we're going into this narrow section. But what I was saying was topographically speaking, we're following the ridge line of this mountain range. So you're right on the peaks of the mountains. That's how the trail is carved in. So this looks like fun. Let's do it. All right, we get a little uh, vegetation uh, section here. So you're gonna you're gonna see again. Uh, you're gonna go from desert to gigantic pine trees. They're gonna really be big pine trees when you get up top here. There's a little bit of a shelf road section here, but nothing too extreme. Just be careful. To your driver's side is a relatively significant drop, and you want to be mindful if other uh, people are of course coming ahead on these narrow sections where you might have to move over and let the let uh, other drivers pass you'll see later that there uh, is a group of about five or six Jeep Wranglers ahead and um, we kind of had to work around each other in a few narrow spots so you know, keep that in mind this this is a popular trail and um, with good reason it, it's uh, so dynamic so beautiful um, and so challenging and, you know, uh, that you're gonna see everything here you're gonna see again not just other drivers but motorcycles ATVs etc trucks Jeeps all sorts of different kinds of vehicles. So going straight up, you know, you really hopefully get an idea of these road conditions here. These cameras are, sh are uh, purposely set to try to um, show the road condition. The, find that a lot of time online the, the camera settings on off-road videos aren't really set uh, to show the road and it kind of washes it out so hopefully everyone watching uh, you all can see these kind of ups and downs these undulations and really get a good idea of the road surface I think that's going to bring you you know the most knowledge and the most uh, you know information that you that you'll need to decide if you want to do this trail or not or how you feel about it I hope that makes sense 
If not, we're trying our hardest not to make the road look like it's flat by adjusting the uh, camera settings here. Coming up on now the sixth or seventh hill climb. And again, we have a few choices. And they all look to be about the same, which is, I guess, moderate. So I'm being sure to keep my speed up. Try not to do my favorite thing I like to do, which is high center. <laughs> Trying to keep my uh, tires on the high spots. And not my transmission pan on the high spots. <laughs> if you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, search the channel if you want to see that story. All right, looks like an eighth hill climb ahead. All right, up we go again. We, we are going up and it's getting rockier and it's getting steeper. <laughs> so, uh, you know, this is, this is straight up. And your, your tire placement would be important uh, if, unless you're in a lifted vehicle. This vehicle is not lifted. What fun! That was a little more challenging, a little more rocky. And it looks like we're entering a ninth hill climb. that anybody needs to count it's just interesting to to see how many of them oh <laughs> yeah interesting to see how oh there's some jeeps ahead interesting to see how many uh there are because uh, i don't think there's anything on the internet that counts just how many uh hill climbs there are you know what i mean so you go on the internet and you can't really tell what you're getting yourself into as far as hill climb so it's it's cool to have um both perspectives. Well, we keep going up, and um, this is when we run into a uh, convoy of Jeeps, so maybe uh, Jeep Wranglers, that is. Think about uh, I think there was five of them. This is, I believe this is the last one in the line. And uh, it, it may look like we were right up on them. But it, it wasn't that close, and the, the reason for the speed was to keep the momentum up as far as uh, getting up the hill itself. So, um, just one of those situations that, uh, you know, kind of had to be done. There's a shot of them. I believe they were all lifted Jeep Wranglers. They didn't appear to be stock height. And so they were modified in some way or the other. And uh, we actually passed them here momentarily. A 
lots of fun sections to uh, you know, kind of bridge those valleys with your tires or however you want to say it. Bridge the peaks with your tires. And an absolutely gorgeous, perfectly clear, uh, perfectly sunny day. And so here we're going to pass them. They were kind enough to let us pass. They waved me around. And we're going to try to keep a good distance away from them. And I know I keep saying this, but that is straight up, relatively speaking, uh, into the... Uh, into the mountain here and you can see there's more hill climbs up in the distance <laughs> they just keep coming this is uh, a, a true hill climb after hill climb after hill climb after hill climb trail uh, if that sounded a little bit obnoxious to you it's just trying to drive the point home <laughs> that that's what this is going to be uh, and if you're not into that, 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 that didn't make you excited, then you may not like this trail. If it did, uh, you know, then you're going to love this. And you're you're going to love this because you really get nothing but hill climbs. There's, not, there's no other real obstacles. There's no technical parts. There's really no rocky, seriously rocky parts. There's no boulders, you know. There's not too many off-camber, tilted situations. There's no shelf roads. Um, there's just a lot of this. And we're coming up on the last obstacle, the last hill climb of 2N17X. And boy, is it steep. And like I said earlier, there's only two the two choices you get hard and hard no options here so that's just what it is but mind you uh, we had truly no idea that that we were uh, on 2 in 17 X we thought we were on 2 in 3 3 pilot rock truck trail which was rated as easy so, uh, I believe mindset and preparation is, is a big thing for off-roading and anything, of course. But had we known what we were getting into, the outcome might have been a little bit different here at this final, final hill climb. Doesn't look like much in the video, but trust me, it is. All right, let's get out and walk this one. I'm losing count of the hill climbs, but uh, <laughs> there's lots of them. I think we're probably over 10 now. So it's steep and loose. Well, not too loose actually. It's, it's more steep and dirty. But this one, I cannot see what I'm getting into. So I'm gonna go ahead and walk it uh, just so we have some clue if we want to do this. It's hard to tell which one of these is harder or easier. I think the one to the left is harder and the one to the right or driver's side of the car is slightly easier. Now let's walk all the way up to the top just to make sure. Like Silverward up there. Beautiful all around. Anyway, this is the top. And I'm gonna decide if I want to do this or not. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna bail. Um, not that the truck can't do it. I just 
don't want to do it. So for me, there's a balance between enjoying my trail and my day and the obstacles and challenges and um, simply getting hung up and or stressed out on the obstacle. I think we've counted about 10 of these hill climbs and I think this is the absolute last. And remember, this is all an offshoot, so uh, this is gonna be safe for another day, but it's not too bad. Um, I would, it still rate is moderate to difficult to go up there. Um, so, um, but I'm not gonna do it. Not today. Not today, maybe another day. So remember, 2N17X is to uh, the left, and uh, it is hard. That was the last obstacle. Once you do that, you meet up with, ironically, 2N33, the rest of the uh, Pilot Rock Truck Trail. Uh, you meet up at the end of it, so it does connect, and that was the last one. And uh, that's it. We'll try that obstacle another day, when uh, now that we know what the heck it is, and... Uh, maybe we'll bring a winch next time. Uh, I'm game. Uh, so if you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you. Have a great day.